Hi, thanks for joining me. My name's Sue, createwithsue.com, and today we're going to look at updating your firmware on your scanning cup. You'll see the update available and an information next to it on my screen, plus a Wi-Fi icon next to it. Click on the update available, and it will bring you to a screen showing the version and what you're going to. Click update, and off we go. Now, this bit takes quite a while. So I'll have a little chat to you about other options in a minute. Um, occasionally you will see only see that little blue information and you can click on that and find the update that way. Uh, you also will have the opportunity to cancel this. At the moment we're just up, um, downloading the update. So you could cancel if you wanted to. However, wiser not to, but should you have a power outage or some sort of issue with getting the file downloaded, then most times it's okay, so don't worry too much, you just start again. And um, what if you have poor internet connection? So if you've got poor internet connection, you can do this by USB. So you would go over to Brother Support, or uh, it's actually support.brother.com, and I'll put that in the bottom of the video so that you have that, and you can get the download file and put it onto USB that way and then plug your USB device into your machine and do the update. With my old CM model I had to do that quite a few times. We had really poor internet connection so that, that was the only way I could do it. With my new DX we've actually got better internet connection now and can do it over Wi-Fi. So let's go over to the brother site. This is support.brother.com and you can choose your country and also your product. So you can see there's a search bar at the top and also different brother products to choose from. Uh, easiest way is to type in your model in that search bar and click search, but you can also get go down here to the cutting machine section and click on cutting machine and work through that way. And you'll find a whole heap of other options and uh, manuals and downloads in that, in that area. We've gone directly there, so downloads, choose your operating system. So you can see that there's a Windows and a Mac version. Uh, the Mac version, uh, choose your version that you need and also the Windows version. The file here, you'll see at the top for Windows and you click on it and have a little read and you can see the size of the download. So all you do is you click the download and it'll go onto your computer and you can download it. There's a few steps to go over, an agreement, so you click on the agreement and you can follow it all the way through to the download. And I'll take you back to when we're still going. So this took about 16 minutes all up to get through the downloading of the 20 odd meg file. Once you've got through it, you can see saving the update file. Do not turn the main power off. So this is a critical part because it's actually updating the firmware through this section. So do not turn it off in this bit. And I'll just move my camera over so you can see. You can see there's like a, the, the green light that's normally just a solid green light is flashing next to the power button. So that's just really saying that it's doing the update now and basically a warning to say don't, <laughs> don't turn it off. And it just doesn't take all that long to do this part of the the update, the downloading of the actual software takes the longest time. And in a moment, this button will stop flashing and we can move forward to the finalization, which is quite quick from here on. So it was about 16 minutes. If you did it via USB, it would be exactly the same process and you would just install the file off your USB device instead of over Wi-Fi. Okay, so it's going on to its next bit, and here we've got the Brother logo coming up, so that's very promising. And you can see that that green light is now stopped flashing. So it's doing its normal load or like a reboot, if you're looking at it, how a computer does it. This really is just a little computer in here. So now we're in our startup screen like we would normally see it, and you give it a bit of a swipe, and in we go. Carriage will move as normal, and we're back to normal. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to see more videos, check uh, subscribe to my channel 
or head over to createwithsue.com and I've got lots of tutorials, free projects, tips, tricks and more. Thanks for joining me. Catch you next time. Bye.